while the African Music Festival continues here in London, this time bringing to its stage for the first time Mosi Sisengo. Also known as Mosi Fan Fan, he is one of Africa's most prominent guitarists. And he first shot to fame in the 60s and early 70s as a second lead guitarist of OK Jazz with the legendary Franco. Together they developed the unique Congolese rumba sound called Sukas, a fusion of traditional Congolese African music with Caribbean and South American influences. Now, 20 years on, he's established himself in the world of music. And before we talk to Mosi Fan Fan, let's have a listen to him in action. Oh, yeah, I Enjoying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you've been in London now for uh, quite some time. You're, 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 you're right. What was it? The, was it the 80s uh, or earlier? It was uh, 85, I think. 85. 85 or 83. So you obviously, you obviously like being here yeah. and uh, being involved in the music scene here. What, what is it like for someone like you to, to play and continue to play successfully in the music scene? The music, uh, here? yeah, is uh, it's my job. Mm. It's my job, so. I keep it until all my life. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a vibrant scene that you're involved in here? Uh, like uh, like that. Mm. Yeah. And what about what what's the kind of music that you're you're into nowadays? Then we were noticing uh, uh, what you were playing there, play. but is it is, is it much no, the same? I or? started by jazz music before, mm. when I was uh, about uh, sixteen uh, in Congo. Mm. Uh, after that. I enter in uh, African music, in the Congo music, because it was, it was very popular in the country, so yeah. it was better to play the music of the country. Yeah. So I changed it there. But I play jazz, uh, interpreted the, the song that was, uh, it was created here yeah. and in America, was doing that. Before uh, I enter, especially in a uh, Congo music. That, that must have been an exciting time uh, in 1985, coming to London and uh, undergoing that transition from yeah. the music you were playing to yeah. the music that uh, London musicians were playing and yeah. you getting involved in that. What was that like? Yeah, exactly. Uh, when I came here, I created a band. The first time it was a sobo sobo with a music a musician living here. Uh, English musician. Sure. So the band we make uh, something like uh, one year. After that, uh, we discovered the the group. Yes. Uh, so I started to get musicians, the African musician mm -hmm. from Paris, Belgium, and uh, those who are here. Uh, so I'm mixing them like that, including. The, the the local musician, mm -hmm. local English ah. musician. Sure, sure, sure. How do you feel that the the platform for African music is is changing in London and around the world? Do you feel the platform is growing? Yeah, for me, I think at the beginning it was more better than it is now. Mm. So why? Why do you think so? Uh, I think it's life. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Uh, because at the time it was very, was going very up, but now it's going down, down. Mm. But uh, you keep playing. How have you seen the scene change over the time you've been in, from the 70s and 80s till now? 17 to now, mm. there's too much change. Mm. There's too much change. They think change too much. The 17 was more best than uh, it is now. And um, what are you most looking forward to about the African Music Festival? To do, devoted in Africa for the African music. Mm. It's my music. <laughs> I was born with, so. I have that on, on my blood. No. That's why you're playing that all the time. Okay, Mosse, thank you very much indeed for sparing the time uh, to come in and chat to us this afternoon. Okay.